A hospital in East Kent has started offering a service for patients with digestive problems that means they'll no longer have to travel to London for diagnosis. Yes, the idea of capsule endoscopy is that patients swallow a tiny camera which records images from inside them and means an end to probes which can be intrusive and uncomfortable. David Johns explains. Anita Koschel is visiting her consultant to watch a most unusual film of the insides of her bowel. She's one of the first people in East Kent to use a special form of diagnosis, which has previously only been available at hospitals in London. It involves swallowing a capsule that contains a camera, a light, a battery and a radio transmitter, all in a device the size of a large pill. Before this treatment was invented, patients could be examined only by either a pipe put down their throat to the top of the small intestine or by a pipe from below up to the end of the small intestine. The intestine itself could only be examined from outside, such as by x-rays or CT scan. But the capsule goes right through, taking pictures along the way. It gives consultants a much better idea of any problems. Just before the patient swallows the capsule, they'll put on this sensor belt, which will receive the images transmitted by the capsule. And those will then be recorded by this data logger. And over the course of its eight-hour journey, around 55 to 80,000 images will be stored. The small bowel is seven metres long, so there's a lot of places that a problem could hide. Celiac disease and Crohn's disease are amongst the issues that can be diagnosed and there are benefits both to patient and consultant. It's a non-invasive technique, it's uh, uh, very few complications if, if any, and the risk of it getting stuck, for example, um, is less than 1%. Uh, so patients can have it done locally, um, they uh, can go home with a recorder, they don't have to stay in hospital. That was very easy, I think, better than endoscopy and colonoscopy. You just swallow the capsule and forget about it all day and come back again and take the monitor, they pick the monitor with it, they take the monitor off in the, about five o'clock, and then that's it, really. It's hoped that three to 400 patients in East Kent could be helped by the new service. David Johns in Canterbury for Meridian Tonight.